Ahoy, this is Denka. In March, I introduced a new quite impressive AI RT image matting software where you could easily remove the background in images with high precision. AI RT is back with a brand new software called AI RT Video Enhancer. What does it do? As the name suggests, this is for video. It can upscale video that was filmed in low resolution. It can get rid of noise in low light situations bring out details on blurry clips, and lastly, it can create a slow motion from clips that were not necessarily filmed in slow motion. This software is for content creators and designers who need to enhance and upscale video clips for high-quality designs, mock-ups, and promotional material. This is a first look as well as tutorial on how to use this software. This video is brought to you by AIRT. Let's just dive in how to use AIRT Video Enhancer. I have here two AI-generated clips that are in a very low resolution and they lack of quality. I find them actually quite blurry. Let's open the first clip of a horse running. I am simply going to click the plus icon to import the clip. You can also import more clips as this software supports batch processing. Let's play the clip. As you can see, the details of the horse are not very sharp. It feels a bit blurry to me. One thing I want to mention is that if you were to import a very long clip where you wanted to have only the portion of the clip selected, you can do that with these sliders on the left and right. Now I have only this small portion of the clip selected. Let's move to the right side and explain all controls. The first thing you are going to do is select the hardware you want to use, depending on your computer system. I can choose from CPU, NVIDIA GeForce, or graphics card. I will leave it on NVIDIA. The next step would be selecting an AI model that works the best for the particular clip. There are three options. MoDetails HQV2, Smooth HQV2, and SuperVideo VHQ. When you hit the question mark, it will explain in detail what each AI model does. MoDetails HQV2 generates more details. It delivers powerful deblurring and denoising with a particular edge in recovering fine textures such as hair strands, flowers, and outdoor plants. It enhances clarity and sharpness while preserving details. It's especially effective in daylight outdoor scenes, nature shots, and portraits, where sharp texture and natural details are essential. It supports one time, two times, and four times upscaling. Smooth HQV2 eliminates flaws in a video. This one provides natural deblurring and denoising. It excels in removing video flaws while preserving authentic color and texture continuity ensuring clean and smooth output. It's ideal for general video, especially useful in scenes with people, outdoor lighting, or moderate imperfections. It supports one time, two times, and four times upscaling. SuperVideo VHQ is optimized for low light denoising. So the main focus is denoising under extremely low light conditions, such as night skies, urban nightscapes, or dimly lit interiors. The procession will be a bit slower as it goes for the best quality. It supports two times upscaling. For this clip, I will select the first one, MoDetail HQV2. Below the AI model selection are upscale controls. You can upscale up to four times or up to 4K. You can also select a custom resolution. I'm going to leave it on two times. There is another control called Turbo. This will make export faster. However, I'm going for the quality, so I will leave it unchecked. Let's go to the preview window and drag the slider to see before and after. There are significantly more details now, and the edges of the horse are much sharper. Edit controls are next. Here you can rotate and flip the clip, crop, and work with multiple tracks. Below you have frame interpolation, where you can change the frame rate of the clip. And the last control is for audio denoise. 
I'm ready to export the clip, so I will hit Export Settings. I will leave the format on MP4 and video codec H.264. There is no audio in this clip, so I don't have to worry about that. Then I just need to select where I will save the file. Let's hit Export. This bar shows up where you can see your original clip's dimensions on the left and the upscaled size on the right. I'm using a gaming laptop, so export is pretty quick with my system. Let's play the original clip first. And here is the final clip. You can certainly see that it is much better now. Let's try one more AI-generated clip of a King Charles Spaniel running. The same thing here, the dock is not sharp as I would like it to be, the details are not there and I would like to upscale the size. This is an outdoor shot, so I'm guessing the second AI model will work the best. I'm still going to test the first two AI models to see which one works better. The first one, Mo Details, brings out the sharpness in the grass a lot. But from what I am seeing, the second one, Smooth HQ, gives just nice overall details in the image. So let's select that. I'm going to leave the upscale at two times and this time go to Frame Interpolation, where I'm going to select 60 frames per second to have the movement of the dock even smoother. It will create extra frames. Let's hit Export. Here you can see the original clip being in 24 frames per second. And on the right, you can see that the clip will be 60 frames per second. Let's play the original clip. And now let's play the final clip in 60 frames per second. I have already shown that you can use this software to enhance and upscale AI generated clips. You can also use it on very old clips or videos taken with quite old camera models and smartphones. This software really helps to preserve, enhance and upscale your past memories. I have here a clip that has been filmed in dark conditions and the footage is very grainy. The best model for this clip to use would be Super Video VHQ to enhance the details. Let's just look at the preview window and drag the slider to see the difference. The details have been improved and the grain has been reduced. I think the overall image looks a bit better. Let's hit export. Let's play the original clip. And here is the final clip. Let me know in the comments below what do you think about AIRT Video Enhancer. I would love to hear your opinion, your thoughts on this one. When it comes to me, I would like to see, hopefully down the road, if they would consider adding stabilization feature. I think that it would be very good if that tool would be included. Let's cover pricing. A free trial is available. Okay, here is the pricing. There are two options standard license and lifetime license. Standard license is built yearly and it's going to give you one year of unlimited updates and you can use it on one PC. The lifetime license is 165, which is much cheaper compared to other competition from what I saw. You can use it on three PCs. You get unlimited updates for life and free gift AIRT image enhancer, one year license. I will link the software below the video for those interested. Give it a thumbs up if you found this video informative and don't forget to subscribe for more. Meanwhile, I'll see you in one of those videos next. Ciao, ahoy.